There's a garage I know cool dads can go down at Kapal's Corner. It's new, it's new with hammers and tools down at Kapal's Corner. Hey, where's the beef? Grills on, the steaks are sizzling. What about the beer? In a frosty mug melting in my folding chair. It's a special day for dudes to play. Down at Kapal's Corner. Sorry gals, today's for the guys. Carl Jr. Hardy, correct? Happy Father's Day, everybody, and welcome to another exciting episode of... Is my hair okay? Is it okay? My hair okay? Um, can we get some dampener on that top dome, please? The makeup, makeup didn't want to do anything with it. Well, did you, I, did I they thought, see that hat? I thought powder might help a little bit with these lights. Yeah, we were worried, you know. You know, you got really breathing. You got really tall hair. Well, welcome to another exciting episode. I'm your host, uh, Benjamin Kapal, and with me today I have Carl Jr. Hardy. Is that correct? No, it's not. It's Anderson. Carl Anderson. Carl Anderson. And happy yeah. Father's Day to all you fathers your out there. Brother's married to my daughter. Come on, man. Anywho, happy Father's Day, everybody. Carl, I'm just glad you got here. I was worried because I know your legs don't really work as well as they used to. Remember how back you, in your pole vaulting days? How do you get that tall hair like that? Uh, slick. I used to have hair like that. I did. Molasses. I used to have hair like that, but, you know, I, I kept growing. Oh, I did. You did bring some, one. Some, like maybe you got some, one of these pictures here. Some No, oh, no. Yeah. Some some people. Well, this is. Some people say I. This I'm, is a nice uh, picture of you pole yeah, vaulting. Got a side. Oh, you like this? There you go. Oh, because you're going over. Okay. Yeah, I'm going over the bar. Yeah, I used to have hair like that, like yeah, I told you. Pretty, like I, I mean, told you. But the, the difference between you. I still you, got bigger hair than that. The difference between you and me is is I kept growing. And, and some people might call me bald. Call me bald. Call me bald. 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 But I'm not. I'm, I'm taller than my hair. Oh, I see. How you tall outgrew are, your hair. How tall are you? I'm a uh, I'm a uh, five ten, five ten. Okay, well I'm I'm six two. Yeah. So you see, you're short. You're shorter than your but hair. But is six no, two no, no, just no, adding no, up no, to something no, else no, no, that's lacking? No, I'm telling you, if I was five ten, my hair would be would come back in like that. See, if you grew another four inches, your hair would go like that, and you would look just like me. So I'm I'm just taller than my hair. I don't think so, that I don't think that logic works. And I I'm taller than my I hair. I appreciate not that bigger. Well, think about it. Show, okay? Think about it. Truth hurts, doesn't it? So pole vaulting, you were pole you're, vaulting. You're short. <laughs> well, actually, and this is I'm not sure that's an appropriate. I'm getting question. bored of this discussion. I'm not sure that's an appropriate question, because can we, first, can we move, can first, we? first of all, I'm Swedish. Swedish. And my name is not Walter. It's, it's, it's Anderson. Card Anderson. So I, I don't With know why you asked me if I was a pole vaulter, you know, when my name is Carl and I'm Swedish. So what's that got to do with anything? So you're a handyman too, right? Do you do things with your hands like you build houses, your own home, I hear. As far as you know. And you have a you have a barn in the back that you made. Yeah, you built, have chickens, yeah. chickens. Yeah, you raise chicken chickens. Coop. All you farmers out there, farmer dads. I mean, I built the built the chicken coop. Uh, jumped for Clinton High School. Okay. And uh, set uh, the record there. I went uh, over 13 feet, and then I went to uh, Washington Community College, and I jumped there. They had a track team, and, and uh, set their record, and qualified for the junior. National college meet, mm -hmm. you know, and took uh, did, qualified for that two years in a row, and uh, took third place my second year with community college, and then I went to Western Michigan. And, did a lot of vaulting. And, uh, did a lot of vaulting. That was uh, up and down, up, up and down activity. Let me tell you. Serious <laughs> yeah. And I hear you're uh, karaoke. 
Oh, that's well. Actually, you guys are kind of going into my karaoke night. Tonight's in a karaoke night at Uncle Lyle's. You could have been there, and you chose to do this show. I chose it's to do this. Obviously, more important. Yeah, I do. Uh, Doris Beetles, uh, Red what's Hot your, Chili, Red your, Hot Chili Peppers. Your, Red Hot Chili Peppers is kind of what got your brother interested. And my daughter. He gave it away. Yeah. He gave it away. Yeah. He gave it away. We, we yeah. He gave it away. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. Road tripping. Hey, it, it takes you a little yeah, bit longer. Yeah, road tripping. You know, that's that's yeah. one of them. But um, you know, you don't have any snacks. How does it here, feel to be a father? Father four. I love it. Grandfather thirteen. That's pretty. That's that's a pretty big number. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> Where all it. those kids come from? I love them. Well, we all know where you come from. Yeah, we can't. We can't bring that up. Okay. How do you deal with Chris? Because honestly, uh, he should be father of the year. Chris is my man. Chris and Carl karaoke buds. That's, we are. The CD is coming out this year, isn't it? Well, I hope so. And you guys sing a lot of like doing do. banjos. Well, I already told you, comfortably numb. We do that song. You know, I, see. I mean, who can't go wrong? You don't go wrong with Pink Floyd. You really can't, Roger. He really can't go yeah. wrong. With Roger. <laughs> uh, I do the high parts. He does the low parts. So you, you're more of the Dave, Dave side of it. Yeah, Dave side. Of it. Absolutely. Uh, you gill more to the Dave. Okay, I guess. <laughs> you could be Mufasa. You could really. Could I? You could. Okay. And Chris could be your Simba. As far as you know. That would be a great picture, actually. If you guys dressed up like that. Maybe you held Chris out above the mountain. <laughs> I'd probably oh, drop it's him. Away, uh, <laughs> you like that? Yeah, I do. I do like that. <laughs> I bet they're good. So, awesome handyman, awesome pole vaulter. You did that for years. That was cool. You have awesome children, cool house. I mean, really, is there, what else can we talk about? I don't know. I was, you know, basically raised in a, you know, kind of sophisticated kind of style. What happened? Well, I don't know. My taste in music drove my parents half wild. And, yeah. You know, mom and dad, you know, they had a plan for me. They were debutantes in the symphonies, but, mm. you know, I like my music hot and... I, heavy, heavy. I like my women kind of wild, you know, so <laughs> I like my women a little, little on the trashy yeah. side, you yeah. know, when they wear their clothes too tight and their hair is dyed a little right. bit, you know, and too much lipstick and too much rouge. Right. Know. Gets me excited, but it, it does leave me. <laughs> it does Gets leave me. Gets me excited, too. It does leave me confused, so I <laughs> like my women a little on the trashy side. but Trashier? Yeah, you know. You like to live on the mm -hmm. trashier side of town. <clears throat> you should have seen the looks on my the faces of my mom and dad when I when I brought my date home for the senior prom. You know, and he said that, uh, "Pardon me, son, but you know she she looks more like uh, Dolly Parton, you know, cocktail waitress in a Dolly Parton wig." And I said, "I I thought that was cool." That's, but I was that, gonna say that's, that sounds that's what en I, enduring. That's what I dig that. dig because I like the trashy women. Right. You know, right. and, and uh, I do like them sweet. So they got so they. I like them sweet. I like them. I like them with a heart of gold. But uh, you know, I also like them brassy and kind of brazen and bold. <laughs> oh. And uh, you know, they say that opposites attract, but I, I don't really agree. I don't like them tacky. This is tacky as me. But <laughs> you're pretty tacky. I like my women just pretty much on the trashy side. So. I was raised in a sophisticated kind of style Yeah, my taste in music and women drove my folks half wild Mom and Dad had a plan for me It was debutantes in a symphony But I like my women, I like my music hard Yeah, I like my women just a little on the trashy side when they wear their clothes too tight and their hair is dyed Too much lipstick, too much rouge Gets me excited, makes me feel confused I like my women just a little on the trashy side Yeah, you should have seen the looks on the faces of my mom and pa When I showed up at the door with my date for the senior prom he said, well, pardon the son, but she ain't no kid. 
That's a cocktail waitress in a dolly pot and wig. I says, I know it, that ain't she cool. So when I dig it. Yeah, I like my women just a little on the trashy side. When they wear the clothes too tight and their hair is dyed. Oh, too much lipstick, too much rouge. It's naked, sick, and make the skin confused. I like my women just a little on the trashy side. I like them sweet, I like them with a heart of gold. But I like them brassy, I like them brazen bold. They said that opposites attract, but I don't agree. I want a woman just as tacky as me, and I love my women just a little on the trashy side. Yeah, I like my women just a little on the trashy side. When they wear the clothes too tight and their hair is dyed. Too much lipstick and uh, too much rouge. It's me excited, makes me feeling confused. I like my women just a little on the trashy side. Yeah, I like my women and I like them on the trashy side. Woo! <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.